All right, here we are four days later. And as we said, we pulled our trays off and look at all of that germination. Really good stock of microgreens going right now, eight different varieties. And we also have our seedlings that are starting to come out of their rock walls. So Cameron is currently over here updating our spreadsheet with the date that we see some of these germinated. So you'll see lighter green, they came up a couple days ago. And we've chose a different green, you wanna do the paint bucket. And we're using another green to mark the ones that we see today. So, go ahead. Perfectly done. So as you can see on the screen, we've got a whole grid of our seedlings inside of the tray. And we are updating from the date that we planted them to the date of germination and we are going to track the species to see how long they take to come on out so it will help us have better ideas in the future in terms of when to sow our seeds with respect to each species and you can find this spreadsheet right on canvas right in the Mars farming module here at the top you can check in from time to time and you will be able to see our See chart updating live each day. All right, so what we're doing right now, camera, go ahead, is we are installing some mounts so that we can um, put some cameras above here for time lapses. And Cameron's learning how to use a screwdriver, which isn't as easy as it looks. Righty tighty. All right, we're gonna be using a wise cam, all right, to collect our time-lapse photography and check in on the plants when we need to. It's the exact same one that we use on the farm bot. And we're gonna equip it with a micro SD card, which we'll format in a little bit to collect all of our pictures. All right, so we've got our wise cam set up above our micro greens trays. And we've just set it up so that we formatted its SD card and it can go ahead now and start taking time-lapse photography. There is one more thing that we are going to do today before we call it a wrap. All right, one more little bit that you could see now that we've added to the camera operation is an infrared spotlight so that when this timer shuts the grow lights off, that timer we'll turn the infrared on. Now this camera does have an infrared light on it. However, we really wanna shine down onto these little sprouts because one thing I'm interested in capturing is to see if these plants have any sort of circadian rhythm, which means do they behave differently in the dark than they do in the light? And the only way to do that is to take a look at them in both. So one of the things I don't have at home um, that I do in the lab is a filter for my water. And when you're getting public water here, um, it's treated. And one of the things it has in it is chlorine to help kill any of the microorganisms. And that's great for drinking, but it's not so great for roots. So what I've tried to do here is mitigate that by um, having what's called a rain barrel. And it's kind of attached up to my gutter system. And what it does is it fills over time as we get precipitation. And I don't have to worry about having any of that treated water because now all I do is open up the spigot and we fill up our water and that's what I've been using as a water source for down in the Mars farm here at the Regini Ranch. So again, what we talked about with this double tray system, which makes it really nice, is now that we've got these really densely growing microgreens, what we're gonna be able to do is water their roots directly by just adding our water into the base tray and then just lowering their root systems right back down into it. So through those perforations that we put in our trays at the beginning, that water should soak right up into the root base uh, without producing too much moisture in the leaves up here. Uh, and that'll help to reduce things like fungus uh, from growing in our gardens. All right, so Cameron is just misting our plants here to make sure everybody's got enough water for the day before we cover them back up with the humidity dome. Get all the walls, Cam. All right, make sure you go each row. Go down the rows, down the rows. Good job, lady. 
And here we are just a few more days after uncovering them from germination. And you can see that we've got some really awesome trays of micros. Our daikon radishes are pretty much ready for harvest, as is our barley grass. Um, you can see our sunflower sprouts are really going nicely and our pea shoots are coming up really great over there. Uh, pretty much all of our broccoli micros, uh, alfalfa and, and things of that nature are really starting to pop their, their seed leaves now. So within a couple of days, they're going to be ready for harvest and kind of true to form with microgreens, seven to 10 days after planting, uh, we're going to be eating. So pretty awesome. One of the really neat things about growing microgreens and taking such note of the germination process is you can see the little seed coats that are still sitting on all the leaves um, from when the germination took place. So if you look really closely, it'll look like all the seeds popped up along with the plants, but they're all still shedding their seed coats that they started in. So this is like one of the more dynamic times to catch a plant because it's really doing more now than it ever has. Pretty cool. All right, so our first harvest, you gonna try some sunflower microgreen? Go ahead. I wanna Bite take the whole thing. Some. I wanna take some. You like it? All right, so our first sort of large cull here, we're going to uh, have our first full harvest of some daikon radish greens, which is pretty cool. We're going to throw them right on top of our salads upstairs. And it comes right out of the garden in our own home. Pretty awesome.